All right, uh, as we are planning our next experiment, which is uh, higher flow rate, uh, maybe in this case uh, 8.5 liters per minute, so uh, with a back pressure of 10 bar. What we will do right now is um, I have reset, I've reset uh, this uh, valve over here uh, to fully open, fully open. Uh, we can either op shut this and open this or the other way around, not a problem. Okay, fit the uh, valve fully open. All right. Now what I will start to do is I will start the feed pump. and let it go 15 bar okay the feed pump will start with some complaints you realize that the, the, the sound in the system is not so right that's because we have a bit of cavitation previously so the way to solve this problem is maybe first to channel all the flow back into the feed tank first by doing so we have uh, reduced the amount of vibration and the uh, cavitation hopefully if this is still not good enough remember what I've said earlier just do this a few times just to clear the cavitation all right okay we should be quite safe right now so now I will channel all the flow into the system right now. So I believe I should get a feed flow rate of about 6.2 with a pressure of 7.2. Okay. We are all right. We are getting this number right now. See a lot of fluctuation on the graph. It's normal. We have no flow and then we have flow back again. And the pressure is now going back to previous values. Okay. Right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the frequency of the pump speed to 20 Hertz. As we increase the pump speed, uh, you realize that uh, the pressure has gone up very, very rapidly, but it's not exceeding my uh, pressure limit. My flow rate has gone up to 8.2 without exerting any pressure on the membrane itself. Uh, the inherent pressure of the back pressure of the system is already 12.4 there's nothing much i can do here because flowing through the system here is already 12.4 bar okay the pressure has increased to 8.2 okay this is uh 20 hertz and uh flow rate of 8.3 liters per minute and the pressure of 12.4 bar on the system the noise is a bit noisy right now on the system um, you realize that the feed pump has got a pressure gauge and it's uh, fluctuating at a value of about um, 14 bar at the feed side okay okay um, all right welcome back i'm about to run uh, the second set of experiment uh, we have opened up all the six nuts and loaded your membrane inside here so um, what we're going to do now is we're going to test uh, your NF-2 membrane um, we have tightened loaded the membrane and tightened uh, this piece of membrane okay because it's a brand new membrane we're not going to start the experiment with high uh, frequency of flow rate we're going to start at 3 hertz on set on the feed pump 3 hertz will give you a relatively fl slow flow rate okay let's uh, start 
the thumb now okay all right at 3 hertz the pump uh, rotate fairly slowly and it will deliver a flow rate respectively to again there's no uh, back pressure set on the system here and we're going to shut off the bypass so that the liquid will go straight into the valve into the membrane and this way you're able to see that the flow rate into the membrane is increasing slowly okay at about three hertz you get a relatively a uh, slow flow rate because this is a brand new uh membrane this is a membrane uh, i'm going to treat uh, and run the very very carefully uh, starting at very low flow rate uh, what I've done uh, with V7 is I've turned on uh, the permeate valve V7 okay the flow now into the membrane system is very very steady it's going at uh, about zero point seven or zero point eight liters per minute with very minimum uh, pressure buildup okay so right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to increase the flow rate very very slowly preferably you should let the membrane uh, be a bit small season uh, let it run for two or three minutes that is to ensure that the food the membrane is fully wet on its surface um, but I've already done that previously in about two three minutes ago so what now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase the pump speed to 10 Hertz right now as I increase the pump speed to 10 Hertz we realize that the flow is starting to increase right now okay see the changes in the flow rate as well as uh, the pressure okay it will hit a steady value of about 3.5 liters per minute and at a pressure of 1.8 bar okay I would like to show you um, the separation with this membrane by slowly turning <coughs> the back pressure valve to about maybe 10 bar and collect some permeate from the membrane module 